Hi, I'm Queenie Kim here at the San Francisco Opera House waiting for an interview with Zandra Rhodes, the production designer of Aida. She's also a fashion designer, and back in the day she was considered the princess of punk rock. Rumor also has it that one of the characters of Ab Fab was based on her. Pleasure. So you are doing the production design for Aida, and you're known for your colors. I tried to analyze what Egypt really epitomized. To me, when you look at things like, let's say, Tutankhamun's tomb, you think of brilliant gold, you think of turquoise, you think of intense, intense blue and orange. Also, what symbols? The pyramid, the eye. And I tried to put all of those together in a, a wonderful combination. When you're doing your sets, do you sort of see it all in your head or how do you piece it together? I came up with the concept. And then they put me together with Jo Davis, who's a brilliant director and I was very lucky to work with. And then she worked out how the sets could move and go together mm -hmm. and how we could use my patterns and my uh, sort of like strange, you, you can probably see bits behind us of the stage, the, my sort of modern day concepts of hieroglyphics. So they don't quite mean anything, but they, they look very dramatic and you use the pyramid shape and, and the and the exotic columns and things. Back in the day, you were considered uh, the princess of punk rock. That was when I did just things in black and pink and with wonderful chains and beaded safety pins. But at those, in those days, I had green hair. Mm -hmm. Why'd you change your hair color to pink? I went to China in 1979. I didn't see anything red. I looked at wonderful greens and jade greens and in those days people were still in army uniform and somehow I came back and I said, oh, red china, I'm going to dye my hair red. Well, this was the nearest to red and I've stayed pink ever since. I'm certainly not going to go grey. 